In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a gradient text effect in Filmora. So let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see, I have uh, a black background here that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So to get started, I'm going to go over to titles and I'm going to switch over to close out this uh, folder, open up the titles folder, and I'm going to pick a plain title, which is the first one, which is called basic six, just in case you're looking for it. It doesn't have any animation or any designs on it. It's just regular text. I'm going to click, I'm going to go ahead and click drag and drop this on here. All right. So now this is our title here. I'm going to double click on the title itself, and I'm going to go over to my advanced options. All right, this is going to pop up. First thing I'm going to do is obviously change uh, this here. I'm going to change uh, the text to gradient. OK, something like that. And I want to change the font to something else. I'm going to change it to impact. And I'll just make this bigger so that it's, you know, much it's much more visible than it is right now. OK, put that in the middle. All right. So now once you have your text here, you want to go ahead and switch over to customize. If you were not on customize, you might be on presets or animation. Now, one of the first options you're going to see here is going to be the type of fill, right? Sometimes you might not even have this turned on. That means you can't see your text. Make sure this is turned on and it's going to ask you what type of fill do you want? So right now we have what's called the color fill, which means uh, the color, there's only going to be one color that fills up this uh, text uh, object here. Okay. Now, if you click this drop down, you want to select gradient fill, switch over to gradient fill. And as you can see, this creates a nice gradient for us. OK, now there's a couple of options here. Now, the first one's going to be if you want to change the colors of this gradient. So I can double click on this and let's say I want this to start with a purple. Right. And you can double click on the other uh, color option. Let's make this yellow or orange. Right. So you can see that it, the gradient changes from this first color that we picked to the second color that we picked. OK, now we can move this around as well. So if I wanted, you know, the gradient to not be 50 50, as you can see, we essentially get half of it, right? The purple goes uh, to the middle and then it mixes up with the orange. It's like, you know, a perfect mix. Now you can actually move these around. If you want the purple to take on, you know, majority of this, you can uh, go ahead and increase it to that. So you can see we have more purple here. You can do the same thing with the orange as well, right? As you can see here. Now there's less purple and more uh, yellow or orange. OK, now you can also add more points here. If you want to add more colors to this gradient, this I wanted to add something in the middle here. I'm just going to double click in the middle. So I add another point for me. Now I can double click in this box and let's say I want this to be blue, something like that. Let's do this blue here. So you can see now I have that blue on here. I can also add another one here if I want to do that. So you can see, let's add maybe uh, red, right? So you can add as many as you'd like uh, on here, as many as you can fit on here, actually, right? So now if I want to delete any of these, you want to select the point that you want to delete or the color uh, box or um, one of these. Go ahead and click the delete button here. That's going to be located on the right side. So click on that. That's going to delete uh, all of these here, as you can see here. Okay. And I delete this one as well. All right. So now uh, on the bottom here, you have the effect. This is going to be the text effect, right? So if I click this drop down, you can see that it's going to give you different options here for uh, what type of text effect you want. This is the regular. You see some of these look kind of look like they're 3D. They have shadows and things like that. Now, one of the other cool things you can do here, aside from the effect, you can actually um, change how the uh, uh, the gradient uh, looks here. So you can change the opacity. I just want to lower that a little bit. Now you can also add a little blur to your text. You can kind of like change the angle as well of the gradient, which is, you know, I use this most often. I don't really use the opacity and blur and effect, but the great, the uh, angle, I do use that because it allows you to change uh, the angle of this. If you want to do something, you know, that's kind of like, a, let's do, let's do want to do like a 80 degree, not like that, right? Or you can go to zero, which means it's uh, it's kind of like linear. It's coming from the left side to the right side. You can you know do all types of angles with this here, right? This allows you to really really uh, manipulate how this looks. Okay. 
pretty cool here now once you're done with this you have your gradient colors go ahead and hit apply and this is going to be applied to your text okay now that is how you're going to be able to create the text the gradient text effect and for more pretty simple but pretty cool thank you so much for watching make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already i'll see you guys on the next one peace